going on people welcome back to the channel please smash a like on the video please hit the subscribe button get us over to the 13k mark on the channel follow me at lee underscore chappy on all social platforms right leicester city's transfer news ryan bertrand is one of the players linked to leicester city's transfer window this summer however he is also being chased by arsenal as well um i think this player although probably aging at 31 is really i think he's really just a, a player eyed up to replace like your christian fuchs who's leaving and your wes morgan that's leaving just bolstering that side of uh, rotational squad players um experience in the premier league um He's won the Champions League, I think he's won in 2012 with Chelsea. I think he's won the FA Cup as well with Chelsea. So he's got he's got pedigree behind him, so to speak. Probably not the best gifted player, um, but all around for free. You've got to take someone for free. Uh, we took Christian Fuchs on a free, don't forget. Um, so why not? Why the hell not? Uh, Leicester City having, having Europa League uh, as well. We need a bigger squad, more depth uh, to rely on. And uh, and this is the news for the day, which is definitely, uh, it's a, it's a, I suppose it's a start. Linked with obviously Samari as well and Austin Edward from Celtic, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but uh, confirming that he's leaving Southampton, uh, a farewell message from Bertrand. Uh, after many months of hard decision making, I have decided decided to leave Southampton Football Club. This has only been decided in the last 48 hours and comments that I had not accepted on offer previously are not true. So he did not accept the offer uh, for, for Southampton. There was rumours that he had. Um, I want to thank all the fans for welcoming me to the club and supporting me endlessly. All of the support staff behind the scenes, I thank you, dearest. Uh, also, a special thank you to the Southampton owners as well. So there you go. That, that confirms that that he is leaving Southampton. Um, man, the manager reacted in a funny way as well. Ralph Hasenhull. Uh, he was here for seven years. Like always in football, things are coming to an end. I think he did a good job for this club. Finally, we have to move on. Like always in life, you have to start something new. This is what we have decided as a club, uh, that we will replace him in the summer. It is normal in football, I think, to start new things. And if we have the chance to bring somebody in in the summer in this position, uh, a younger Ryan Bertrand, if you want, that helps us with his quality or his level of performances then we can develop this young lad and then we maybe get later on even better player says Ralph Hassan Huddle mind you mind you at 31 and he has done it all he's been at Chelsea and like I say he's been in Europe he's had experience he's got Premier League pedigree as well behind him you know experience in the Premier League I think it's not a bad little idea to bring in a player like that in all honesty, at the end of the day, we took a gamble on Fuchs, who hadn't had previous Premier League experience, and look how that turned out. Uh, absolutely phenomenal player and legend of the club now. So I'm not saying he's going to be a legend for the club. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying maybe it's a good idea just to pull him in as a squad rotational player because we haven't got James Justin right now, who's out till Christmas. It's end of discussion. Now then, moving on to Ed Ward of Celtic. Linked to the club for a very long time because Brennan Rodgers came here in the first place and he's played under Rodgers at Celtic. He's only 23 years old. 18 goals this season for Celtic. Four assists in 31 matches. I think would be an absolute steal. However, Inter Milan are looking at him. Arsenal are also looking at him. They are linked with him too. Where will he go? I think if anywhere, he should definitely come here. I think he could, should come to Leicester for Europe, Europe, Europe football, European football. I know it's Europa, not Champions League. I get it. Blah, 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 blah. But it's the manager that's here. Surely that's going to pull him. That's surely that will pull him. And he's French as well. Um, that's going to help uh, alongside of Fafana. And hopefully if we pull in Sumare as well, that will be a nice trio of French international players that we potentially will have at the club. Um, Leicester Mercury are reporting on Edouard today. Um, a memorable season for the Foxes ended in disappointment, obviously missing out Champions League football. Uh, but despite missing out on the top four, the Foxes are still expected to be active in the forthcoming transfer window. Brendan Rodgers looks to build a squad to challenge for the top four next season. Uh, obviously with a freebie of, um, of the left-back Ryan Bertrand, 
confirmed. Um, moving on to Edward, it's not the first time that Leicester have been linked with the player. The 23-year-old uh, player has played under Rodgers before, uh, and as Leicester Mercury report, would be a great signing to go alongside Kalichi Nacho, whose goal-scoring form is unreal at the moment, or alongside Jamie Vardy as well. Could just you know help out ease Jamie Vardy's uh, you know. Being a lone striker, Jamie Vardy, I don't think would work anymore. Um, but uh, maybe Edward next to him would be would be would be good stuff. Um, Leicester close in on a fifteen million pound transfer deal, according to the Daily Mail as well. It is said that Leicester believe they have won the race for the Frenchman Edward with a fee of fifteen million pounds, close to being agreed by Celtic. Edward has just one year remaining on his contract at the Scottish club, uh, with the report claiming that along with a large sell-on fee has caused the price to be reduced. The report also claims that Edward has indicated that he wants a reunion with his former manager, Brennan Rodgers, at the King Power Stadium. Celtic have responded with this report. Following the report, Celtic boss John Kennedy responded, when you've got good, talented players, there's always interest. There always is he told the Daily Record. That's what happens when you see it around Europe now in terms of big clubs making moves quicker on players, especially in Germany with Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. They move very quickly on players and pay the fees early. I've no doubt there'll be uh, interest in, in Edouard as there was last season, all the time he's been here because of the amount of talent he's got. But ultimately, the club will do the right thing for ourselves. If we want to keep him for as long as we can because of the talent he's got, then we will. He also responds to the reported £50 million fee. That's far too cheap for my liking. I'll have to speak to my colleagues. The financial pers perspective of the club is strong and there are some very clever people here who know how the business side of football works inside out and we've put ourselves in a position where we can demand more money for our transfer fees. What Brendan Rodgers has said going forward with, with Edward, City manager Brendan Rodgers has this to say, the backdrop to, to it is that the club will always have to be looking forward and planning forward, but not just in James' position, but in every position. Something that's always ongoing in process, he said in January, while Rodgers also said that replacing Vardy is impossible, which is also what I said, there is not another Jamie Vardy in the league or anywhere else in football for me. Um, although Vardy's game has changed. That, has, that is... That is, that's decisively fact. He has his game has changed, and he's had to because of his age. Um, but uh, he has hinted that he's looking to bring in more attacking players, Brennan Rodgers, to help go forwards. He's irreplaceable, Jamie Vardy. You cannot find anyone there. He's such a unique story of his qualities. Um, but you see it on lots of occasions. Can you find the replica of that type of player? For us, it's more about the actual player of player we want. I will always look to have speed at the top of the field. But there are other attributes that we want to look for. Um, basically... He's not saying that, that Edward is the Jamie Vardy replacement. But what he has said is that I do think he will leave Celtic. That is what Brendan Rodgers has said. That, that is, that's it. There's a few other player, uh, teams that are involved in this race for Edward as well. Apparently Liverpool are looking at a, a link as well, according to The Athletic. There's numerous reports. £20 million bid uh, expected by Leicester, uh, says the Sun newspaper. Uh, and plenty of other uh, other links around uh, the papers as well. you just got to click Edward and uh, you'll find it. Um, but uh, that's it, guys. That wraps up the video for today. I'm hoping that he does come because I could do with some uh, exciting youngsters coming into the squad. I love the fact that he's only 23 and he's French as well, which will... Join the duo of Fafana and hopefully Samare, uh, who hopefully <laughs> the rumours are true, will sign as well. £15 million for Edward. Would you take that? I think I would. Let me know in the comments, please. Drop, the, drop a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button and please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Celtics Edward. I'll see you on the next video, guys.